Hi, I'm Steve from Ellis Bigham and this is Elset and we're here to talk to you about the Atomic Cloud 11 Widebody. So it's our uh, Women's Peace Ski of the Year. Um, we got to test this up in Scotland uh, in pretty good conditions but not necessarily ideal. But we'll come back to that in a little bit. First of all, here's Tim from Atomic to give you the tech info. The Cloud 11 Widebody Ski from Atomic for this winter features our 75 underfoot width. So this is a little bit wider than the normal uh, cloud skis. The reason they've done this is so that you can ski this ski in more variable snow conditions. It works super well if you're going through the crud or if you're off the side of the piste with extra flotation in the tip. As you can see, the tip profile and width extends quite a lot. Um, the ski features a titanium stabilizer. So that means it's got a titanium plate underfoot underneath the binding. So it's got power when you need it underfoot but it's just got a wood core that runs the length of the ski, uh, which is what we call our flight wood core. Flight wood core is our lightest popular wood core we have in our range. What we do is we, we, we sort all the, the popular wood into low density, which is the lightest wood core, so it's got the least amount of water content in it, and that's what we put in the, in the cloud skis. So you get a 12% weight reduction in, in the wood core of the ski, so that means lighter swing weight and lighter feeling on your the ski features our Servotech light technology, so this is an elastomer which is uh, inset into the front of the ski in front of the toe binding. This absorbs a lot of the vibration that comes into the ski which gives you better running stability. The ski comes with our Mercury 10 binding. This is a super lightweight binding. It has rollers in the heel now so it's much easier step in and step out than the previous model. So this is the Cloud Wide Body Ski. Um, it features a full wood core, like I said, uh, titanium stabilizer, and it's our, uh, perfectly suited to our intermediate to adventurous female uh, piece skier. So we got to test this up in Scotland um, at the end of the season last year. Uh, we struck really lucky. We got some good snow. The pieces were feeling great, but weren't perfect. So probably ideal place to test something like a Cloud 11 wide body. So it is a piece ski, but as the name suggests, it's a little bit wider than maybe your average piece ski and that gives it a bit more stability, um, but the construction means you don't lose any of the energy. But how did you feel when you were skiing it then Elsa? So I was on, in the shade it was really icy, but in the sun it was getting a little bit softer, so you were kind of transitioning from one to the other quite a lot. So I found really nice icy piece could definitely get it on it easily could definitely push it could definitely grip really well but when you were moving into the slightly slushier slightly softer stuff it was still holding its own and you could still push through better than i have done before in other narrow skis where you start to feel a little bit sluggish with them so it was definitely a piece ski that could do that a little bit more which is obviously what it's designed to do and speed wise, um, were you skiing fast, slow? I'm normally quite fast. Um, you could sit back on it again. You don't, it's not a ski you have to push all of the time, which I think is the beauty of some skis, is that you can really go for it when you want to, but you don't have to. And this definitely fell into that category of one that you could really blast, but then once you got a little bit tired, you could sit back and relax a little bit more on as well. And you'd happily cruise the piece on this then? Happily cruise the piece, I'd prefer to go a little bit faster though. So, and you would take this ski faster? I could definitely take that ski faster. Excellent. Well, if you want a bit more information on it, have a look at our web pages. Um, if not, give us a call, uh, come into one of the shops, we'll talk you through it. Otherwise, if you've got any questions or any comments, if you've skied it, pop them below and we'll come back to you. Otherwise, thanks for watching.